Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Ranking Tactics. It is almost 2023. I hope you're excited. I am so excited for the new year. It's not quite here yet. All right, one more day. But this 2023 is going to be a, a bombshell of a year. Personally, for me, 2022, I finally found my footing. I've been navigating the different online marketing uh, niches over the past couple of years. And I finally found, I think, my place where I want to be in five years from now. And I'm, I'm kind of implementing that strategy, making that happen right now. And it's the best feeling in the world. Absolutely the best feeling. I hope you're on the same path. I hope no matter you know who you are, where you are, I hope you're finding your footing and finding you know where you want to be. Online marketing is phenomenal because there's so many different things you can do. You know, when they say the world's the oyster, o oyster, o oyster, oyster, I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> when they say that, it's true. There are so many different things you can do with online marketing, whether it's affiliate marketing or whether it's um, working for an agency or starting your own agency or doing YouTube stuff or everything in between. There's so many different opportunities and it's just, it's great to finally find where you want to be. So, you know, if you found your footing, I'd love to hear about that. Drop it, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear about where you're, you're finding yourself in 2022 and where you, you know, where you want to be in 2023. Uh, we're all in this journey together and it's, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. So enough of that. We got one more present to share with you. Now, I didn't do anything about this, but I'm going to share it with you. Okay. Phrase is truly the gift that keeps on giving. Last week, they released their GPT-3 or 3.5, if you want to get technical, integration with OpenAI. And now they've released their own GPT-3 chat functionality. All right, I'm going to share that with you. That's big, absolutely big, massive. But I want to talk for a second about chat GPT because I, I think it's really interesting. I have worked with AI for the past maybe two years, and I've worked very, uh, very intimately with the AI in terms of just making lots of templates. And I've probably spent 600 hours making templates for AI, working with the AI. And I've been working with a harder version of the AI than, than GPT-3. The, the previous AI that Fraser was working with was, was less forgiving. Okay, so we, I really had to get technical with it. And so Chad GPT comes out and I'm like, you know, everybody's just getting blown away by it. And I, I look at it and I'm thinking, it's interesting, but it's not, it's not blowing me away. And I'm, I'm wondering, what am I missing here? And then it clicked. You know, I realized the reason why chat GPT is all the rage right now is because it's allowing people that had no use case or didn't think they had a use case for using AI to, to get in and use the AI and talk to a robot and be like, whoa, this is, this is legitimately amazing. Like if you can remember two years ago or, or a year ago when you first experienced okay, the output from GPT-3, you're like, whoa, this is, this is incredible. This is absolutely amazing. Well, that's what a lot of people are experiencing right now with ChatGPT because temporarily it's free. That's not going to be free for, forever. I think the founders of OpenAI said that the costs are eye-watering, okay? I think a million people use, I don't know if it was a day or just in total, but there's millions of people using it and it's the cost, the server cost to run it, to run the model for all those people, it's eye-watering. So it's not going to be free forever. So I've looked at it and I'm like, yeah, I don't see the draw, but I think the draw is simply people that had no use case, people that didn't need a, an AI tool, that weren't copywriters or weren't writing blog posts. They had no reason to pay for an AI, but now they're experiencing it. And they're experiencing it for free and it's going viral because Joe Schmo, he gets on there and he's like, this is absolutely amazing. I'm writing copy for my, for my email or something like that. And he sends it to his buddy, sends a link to, to chat GPT to his buddy, his buddy checks it out and they're blown away by it too. So everybody now is checking it out. And I think that's why it's just going viral right now. Now, are people going to use it in a year from now? I don't know. Obviously, the interface is very useful. It's very easy to just get in there and tell the robot what you want. And ChatGPT does a very good job of giving you relevant information. Now, sometimes that, that information can be incorrect. And you might not know that because it does a really good job of telling you stuff that's not true. All right. But obviously, that will improve over time. But it's very interesting because I can see this is like the crypto market. Okay. This is crypto. I don't, when did crypto take off? I don't know. But this is like that, that if I had a little graph or something, AI is kind of going along and suddenly it's spiking up. That's where we are right now. So it's going to be very interesting in the next two years, three years, five years to see what happens. 
I think a lot more people are going to, a lot more VCs are going to be dumping money into AI, and you're going to see some amazing things happen. So I'm really excited to be where I am with this AI. I hope you are too. We are on the cutting edge of something amazing happening. This is going to be like the dawn of the internet. All right. This is going to be big. So get excited, get really excited. Now let's dive into what phrase has now for their chat functionality. This is really cool. I can't wait to share it with you. So you can access the chat functionality by going into a document inside a phrase and then clicking the AI right section. And then you'll see a new option up here called chat. Now this is brand new. It literally came out yesterday. Some stuff's probably going to change over time. This is the very first integration of this. And just so we're clear, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. No tool has truly integrated chat GPT because chat GPT does not have an API. So any quote unquote chat functionality by a company is, only, is done one of two ways. One, and this is not phrase. The first way is not phrase. One, the company is violating chat GPT's terms of service and somehow is scraping the website on the back end using some kind of JavaScript or something like that to then uh, host quote unquote chat GPT on their own servers violates all kinds of terms of service, probably illegal. That's not what Phrase is doing. All right, Phrase has built their own chat functionality using GPT-3. And we're gonna, we're gonna kind of look at that right now, okay? So this is what it looks like. And it's right now it's only available inside of a document. I think Tommy and the Phrase team has listened to the community and have found out that maybe there's some value to having this as a separate standalone tool outside of the documents in the AI tool section. But for right now, it's only available in this AI right, this chat area right now. So when you open it up, you'll see some different prompts that you can get started with. So we can just ask it a question. So write an outline with six headings about, and then, you know, about whatever. So let's say about this, how to write a good listicle. Write outline with six headings about how to write a good listicle. So this, these could be H2s right now, okay? Now, maybe we could say, write an introduction or an article about how to write a good listicle. So we have some H2s. Now we have a little introduction. We can click where we want. We can click the paste button and we now have our introduction. And then we can put our H2s in here if we want to. This can be all H2s. I can do this. There we go. All right. Now, we, if you looked at my previous video, I showed you how we can basically do magic commands inside of here. So we could say three paragraphs about this sub topic, subheading. Let's try that sub heading. And then we can select it and go control enter. Awesome. Before you start writing your listicle, it's important to find the topic. So now we've built out this section. So that would be how we would use magic command. So it's going to be a little bit different in here because the AI doesn't really know. We don't, we can't put our cursor under this thing. It's not going to know what we're talking about. Um, but our, all right, supposedly this chat functionality does have a memory. So let's try something different. Please write a different introduction. Okay. But we didn't tell it what topic we want to write the introduction for. We're going to rely on the memory of in here. The memory is not infinite. There's a finite memory, a finite look back, if you want to call it that. So perfect. If you, Are you looking for an effective way to deliver content that will engage your readers? Writing a good listicle can be the perfect solution. From crafting a compelling introduction to proofreading and editing, there are many steps involved in creating an excellent listicle. So that's a great way to use the memory of the AI to get a little bit different feedback. So let's try this. Write it again but use two paragraphs. Wow, <laughs> that's really cool. So we're actually having a conversation now. And I said, okay, I wanted a different introduction than this one. And it did that and it stayed on point. And then it did the same thing when I said, write it again, but use two paragraphs. It knew what I was talking about, but now it's using two paragraphs. Let's say, uh, write it one, one more time, but use the keyword ice cream. I don't know what that would have to do with a listicle, but let's see if we can inject the word ice cream, the keyword ice cream into this. Wow, that's awesome. Are you looking for an effective way to engage your readers with content about ice cream? Writing a good listicle can be the perfect solution. I don't know if it can or not,
but it did what we want. So this is great. So we can have a whole conversation with the AI and tweak the output to get exactly what we want based on our conversation. This is great. Now, this is the same thing you would get out of ChatGPT. Let's try some code. Write some JavaScript code to display a pop-up and get a username. Got a spell right. And password. We're kind of going outside of the use case. You wouldn't really use this in phrase for writing some code. But it can do that. That's, I'm experiencing this with you. This is pretty cool. What else could we do with this? I guess one thing to point out is when we leave this and we go back, our chat is still stored. And this is on a document by document basis. So if I leave this document, my chat's still going to be stored in here. Now if I create a new document, let's go back here. and This is a brand new document. So our chat's no longer in here. So I think the chats are going to stay persistent for each document. That's awesome. Look at that. That's right there. So this is great. This is a great alternative that's implemented very well in phrase for the chat functionality. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this. And I'm excited for the different use cases that you guys might have. So if you have some really cool use cases, drop a comment down below, share those with me, share those with the community. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing with them. That's really exciting. And then that covers everything I want to cover for this chat functionality, but there's something really big. So let's stop talking about this. Let me go back to full screen. Okay, 2023 is coming. And I have something very special to share with you. This is internet breaking big. This is something that's so big. Yes, I want you to help me break the internet when I share this. In eight days, so we're talking January 7th. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm shooting for the 7th. I'm going to do a live stream for eight hours, an eight hour live stream starting Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, going until six, I don't know, eight hours from 10 a.m. or as long as necessary. So at least eight hours. I'm going to do a live stream. I'm going to share something ridiculous with you. Absolutely ridiculous. It's internet breaking ridiculous. You don't have to show up for the whole eight hours, okay? But definitely check it out because this news and this tool I'm going to show you is probably going to break the internet. It's that amazing. And I hope you're pumped. I hope you're excited. Only one caveat. There's one caveat. You need to have a Windows computer. I don't have a Mac version yet. All right. But this is big. Probably the biggest release in regards to AI you've ever seen in your entire lives. This is going to be big. So get pumped. The 7th of January eight hour live stream starting 10 a.m. Eastern on Saturday. It's gonna be on YouTube, doing a YouTube stream. I'm really excited. I hope you're excited too. I can't share any more information than that with you, but eight days from now, live stream, join it. It's gonna be freaking amazing. One more thing, all right? <laughs> One more thing, a lot, of, a lot of different knowledge bombs, value bombs right now. I have an inner circle program. It's right now it's included and it's going to be permanently included if you have my course. If you have my course for the phrase beginner to master course that you already have access to the inner circle. And right now I'm just talking about phrase related things in the inner circle. Eventually though, I plan, I'm, the wheels are turning in my head. And I'm thinking about all the different ways I can add value to what you're doing online. And I think the inner circle videos can be a very good thing. So right now we got one inner circle video up. And this is going to be the second one. I'm going to stop this video. This, what you see right now is going to be on the public YouTube. And then I'm going to continue this video, okay, for the inner circle people. Okay, so if you're a member of the inner circle, you're going to see the rest of this video, you, or you can skip ahead if you've already watched this part on YouTube. But it's only available for the inner circle people. Again, you can get access by getting my phrase beginner to master course. There's a link in the description below. But eventually, you can just subscribe to the inner circle uh, um, a la carte, so to speak. Anyways, that was a lot, of, a lot of knowledge. I hope you're excited about 2023. I am so excited. This is going to be the biggest year ever. I hope this is going to be the biggest year ever for you too. I want to wish you the best new year possible. Good luck in life. Good luck in your content generation. Good luck in all your endeavors. I can't wait to talk to you in 2023. Have a great weekend. Until then, I'll talk to you later.